Is the solution to an equation the same as the answer to a math problem? In this lesson, you will learn what it means for an equation to have one solution by using a drawing. When solving a math problem, we are used to reading from left to right and placing our answer after the equal sign. You've probably seen many formats of math problems, maybe where there's a blank after the equal sign, or an empty box, or even a question mark. As we get into more algebraic equations, you will see variables in your math problems. A variable represents an unknown quantity, and this is where the answer goes. All of these have one thing in common, the equal sign. Equal means the same value. This means that even though the left side looks different than the right side, they must have the same value. In this case, that is 5. Because we often think about moving from left to right and placing our answer at the end, a common misunderstanding that students have is that the solution of an equation always comes after the equal sign. So they might look at this equation and think, could 8 be the solution since it comes right after the equal sign? Well, we could test this theory by substituting 8 in for the variable x and see if it works. When we do this and simplify the left side of the equation, we see that 10 does not equal 8. The two sides do not have the same value, so 8 is not the solution. Instead, what we should think about is this question. 2 plus what number would be equal to 8? We have to remember the equal sign and what it means. The left side has to have the same value as the right side. A solution to an equation is a value you can substitute in for the variable that makes the equation true. The only value that would work here would be 6. 2 plus 6 equals 8. So let's move into our lesson. Imagine that you have a pencil box and 5 pencils and your friend has 8 pencils. How many pencils must be inside the box in order for you and your friend to have the same amount? We could represent this with an equation. In order to solve this, we might substitute in values for x or put pencils in the pencil box and see what works. Let's try 5. Right away you can see that you have more pencils than your friend, so 5 is not the solution. We might try a smaller number. If you put 3 pencils in the pencil box, you can see that you and your friend have the same number of pencils. 3 plus 5 equals 8. So 3 is the only solution to this equation. If we had more or less than 3 pencils in the box, you would not have the same amount as your friend. Let's look at another example. This time you have 10 pencils and your friend has two identical pencil boxes. Both boxes contain the same number of pencils. How many pencils must be in each box so that you and your friend have the same amount? Again, we could represent this with an algebraic equation. To solve this, we could put pencils into the pencil box and see what works or substitute values in for x. Try numbers out. Let's start with 3. Right away you can see that you have more pencils than your friend. So 3 is not the solution. So let's try a larger number, 5. Now you can see that you and your friend have the same number of pencils. 10 equals 2 times 5. They're the same value. So 5 is the only solution to this equation. If you had more or less than 5 pencils in each box, you and your friend would not have the same amount. Let's look at one final example. This time you have two pencil boxes and your friend has one. Again, we could represent this with an equation, but we're thinking how many pencils must be in each box for you and your friend to have the same amount. Here's our equation. So again, we could substitute values in to see what works. If we start with 4, we can see right away that you have more pencils than your friend. 4 is not the solution. 6 is also not the solution. You still have more pencils than your friend. Even if we go down to a small number like 1, you still have more pencils than your friend. In fact, you have twice as many pencils because you have twice as many pencil boxes. So is there a value that would make this equation true? What if we put 0 pencils in each box? You have 0 pencils, your friend has 0 pencils. So 0 is the only solution to this equation. The only way for you to have the same amount is if your boxes are empty. So let's review. The first equation that we looked at had the variable on the left. The second equation that we looked at had the variable on the right. And the last equation that we looked at had the variable on both sides. No matter where the variable is located, it is important to pay attention to all of the numbers, variables, and operations on both sides of the equal sign. And remember that the values of both sides have to be the same. In other words, a solution to an equation is a value you can substitute in for the variable that makes the equation true. In this lesson, you learned what it means for an equation to have one solution by using a drawing.